Welcome to Retrosphere. Hi, my name is John Limkul. John Skippy Limkul. Um, welcome. This is a quick video to show you Retrosphere to give you a a taste for this really cool library. This is a library of Oberheim samples. Uh, a customer of mine, Kurt Strohmeyer, I hope I say his name right, uh, sent me his personal collection that he's recorded from his gear um, over the past, I don't know how long he's been recording on this, but uh, quite a lot of stuff, pretty amazing. So there's actually other volumes of this that will be coming out. There's a Waldorf, there's a Roland, and there might be one more that I'm working on. Of additional sounds from this library um, from the source that he sent to me so I am releasing there's a hundred and five samples you're seeing the JL this is the patch version which is coming out which has um, just some of the bonus patches that will be coming along with this library um, I opened the door all of the plugin guru guru nation programmers the guys that like to make patches they could buy this library and over the last two weeks make patches for this library. And I haven't put those into this uh, library yet. So it will grow in size to be even more impressive than this is already. Uh, but I want to show you some of the stock sounds. And then I'll show you some of the new sounds that I've created for it. And then uh, in a week or two, I will do another video doing the whole library patch walkthrough, everything like that. So these are mainly samples from OBX uh I think an OBX A and a Matrix One Thousand uh, gear that's no longer available, truly in the retro category, and so the name is very appropriate. Um, most of these, no reverb, uh, minimal velocity, uh, modulation. Trying to make it legit in the sense that this is what it was when you were playing. The one difference is that this is a single sample from that synthesizer. It's not multi-sampled. I can't make patches where it's multi-sampled. So these are... And luckily, all these sounds in his library were in the optimal sample range for each sample. And there's only one sample. <laughs> so it was perfect. It's like, oh, we got to do this. And Halloween time, uh, it's fun to get something and get kind of inspired. There's a lot of patches in here when we get to some of this other stuff that are in the uh, more scary, weird, vintage-y thing. So there's stuff like that coming, but uh, let me show you some more of the the vintage, just the samples by themselves. So anything that doesn't say JL. Some also goose the reverb a little bit, which is nice. Um, it's pretty bells. And then the BPM stuff, I'll show you when we come back and do kind of like what I've been working on. Here's some of the sound effects. Very cool. Something like that. effects zap one example here is zap and then i took this and used granular to make this so you can go there if you want with some of these patches leads um Some of these, I have pitchy G's on the attack. They're 
mono. They're the way they would want them to be. But they're really nice and warm in character. You know? Uh, pads like crazy. Really, uh, this is where the library really shines. All of these are. Really nice. Um. Uh, high Anna strings. Do the big get your Lynn samples out. Get good all retro is here. Drifter. Really, really nice. So many. Uh, power core. <laughs> Pure. Uh, shy. But just as an example, here's here's the pads. You know they have a certain quality to it. Uh, I'll show you one of the patches where I've taken it farther. Mod wheel up. I let LFOs do some cool motion things. So the patches that say JL are taking things, combining them, adding effects, going crazy. So you get the idea. Uh, it keeps going. They're so nice. Here's a synth. Shape, that's that's default from the filters and the samples from the matrix. Very hard to get that same quality with synthesis in today's synthesizers in a way. I don't know. There's just just a special vibe to these, which is nice. And if you don't want that pitchy G in attack, you can always sample start later. You know, but that's kind of, that's, that's what you want. That's what makes this different from other libraries that I've released. So it goes on and on as you can see.
you know, like stuff like that. Um, they even have. We won't go there, but you can go there. <laughs> uh, it keeps going. Really great vibe. This has a nice vibrato in the samples. It's really fun. Um, uh, so you get the vibe, right? So there's all warm brass, brass, brass. Oberheim was known for that brassy quality. <clears throat> now as a comparison, here is a thing. I, I modeled kind of the John Carpenter film, the, uh, it's the range. And then I had the mod wheel doing much more to it. <laughs> but you can go there. <laughs> so that's the difference. When you go to the just the samples, pitch LFO on the mod wheel. And that's basically, you know what you're getting. All the ones that say JL go all over the place. Some I kept legit and like this. Finding three waveforms, it's using uh, a synth, another synth, and then a saw square. To make it a component, to make a bigger sound. I modeled a couple after the Stranger Things kind of sounds. No velocity to anything. I think my comments kind of sum it up. <laughs> Play it and own it. <laughs> That's the analog synth mantra. So there you go. Um, there's other things like Chime Master. Horror chimes. Getting more effects, delays, using Omnisphere samples uh, is something there. And the mod gets rid of that. My teeth are so clean. Uh, modern tech BPM stuff. And then the thing bass, I love this, is really cool. Cool. I counting sheep for one.
This is to hit the. Fill the holes. Uh, sunburst is really cool, very. When I wake up in the morning, I feel refreshed. <laughs> uh, peaceful romp. Like the opening demo song, this is using this patch. Snap Queen. Uh, Desolation. I kind of did some horror things, so. This actually has a BPM quality to it. If you listen carefully, even softly, you hear it, but as you bring up the mod wheel, So I showed you brainwave activity earlier. Uh, octaves of falling noise. Simple trick. Using harmonia to have an octave down and two octaves down uh, makes a single sample more interesting, okay? Uh, horrific tubular, this is really fun. This is using random on, as you can see, to a fairly decent strength on one of the samples in a three-layer sound. So. Each time I play the same note, there's this tubular sound. If I hold down Command and click A. It's going all over the place. And that's a synthy tubular sound. So you can put that in the mix and you don't know what you'll get. It's kind of fun. So, uh, somebody help. Yeah, distraught piano. Fast cars. Kind of Gary Newman-ish. Uh, uh, wobbly cars. <laughs> uh, there's other sounds in here like Surrounded Love. I played this earlier. There's a few other synthy things. Fun pitchy G, Bella's anthem. Uh, it keeps going. I'll show you the. Is it... Captain America is very cool. a trick from the M1. Uh, my friend McKelly Patchouli made Universe on the M1. Very famous, maybe one of the more famous patches out there for synthesizers. And it's using a pitch EG very slowly on one element that's got a motion quality to it. So when you put that with other sounds. And I could add it more extreme if I wanted. I could go to this layer and show... I actually have another LFO modulating the speed of the first one. You could bring up the depth if you wanted to have it more dramatic. You know. <laughs> uh, flaming brass.
with the distortion in there. Honesty. Okay. Uh, speedy driver. So there's things like that that are more modern. Stranger Kids. And then I showed you the thing brass earlier. The so moody. Okay, so there's gonna be one more video where I'll go through and show all the patches from everybody else that got put into this library. There's a whole bunch of patches being sent as we speak for this library from the Plugin Guru Nation, my customers that like to make patches. And it's really cool to give them opportunities. And uh, it's really fun. They watch the videos that I've produced all these years and have taken what they've learned and taken it with their experiences from other places and put it together to make some really cool patches. So I'll show you that video when it's done, when the library is done. But this library is available now at a special price. The price will go up when it becomes a final library. So grab it now if you want inspiring vintage retro sounds. And we'll see you in the next video. Okay. Cheers.